Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new video from the channel by the name of Leah's Chill. Today we're here once again back on the Tokyo Break the Chains train. Um, personally, I haven't been doing a ton of grinding over here, just basically touching on the daily events, running through all of those, uh, checking out to see if there's getting going to be any big updates. Uh, we do have maintenance tomorrow, which is going to be an update to the first phase of Kaneki on Centipede Crusade Battle. A couple of resources added to a couple of the events at the game right now. Improved matchmaking for the Legendary and Above tiers inside Arena, and they are also improving some kind of issue with a bunch of coins, uh, coins being able to be purchased, I don't know why, and bug fixes, so it's going to be nothing really. Uh, if that is the case, we don't get a banner tomorrow, I don't know if we'll be doing another video tomorrow either, but we'll see. But for today, what I wanted to go ahead and do is officially showcase, for the first time on the channel, the Centipede boss fight. Now, you may see I have Abyss selected right here. Unfortunately, we're going to have to do hard today because the Abyss version of Kaneki is just that little bit too difficult at the moment for me to be able to overcome. And I just want to do a showcase today and show off the Centipede Crusade battle because we actually haven't done it on the channel just yet either. So let's go ahead. Uh, we're going to invite someone real, actually, instead of doing some kind of AI or anything. We're going to try to show off what this game is actually about and see if we can have a good time with it. So see you guys in one second. Okay, so we got someone to go ahead and join. Um, we're going to be popping the double Uta build on the hard difficulty because obviously you can use any color of character against him. But he is a blue boss, so you want to try and have mostly the green DPSs to be able to do this. I'm bringing Kaneki white hair along because I know for a fact... I'm just going to close that. Um, I know for a fact that breaking him is going to be really important. God, that piano is so fucking cool, though. This is a really cool boss battle, and you fight him inside the Route A street, so it's kind of cool. Come on, you got it. You, you got an extra Uta card. Yeah, you do. I'm going to pop uh, an Iwao so that I can counter this turn, and just have faith that that'll be enough for now. Looks like he's popping double Kaneki, so that's not going to be able to break anything we want to. Unless he wow is going to counter enough to be able to break him, but I'm not quite sure. I meant to hit the tail there. My bad. Oh, wow. One Kaneki card just... I thought broke it, but I apparently lived on one. Damn. In that case, I think I'm supposed to wait till later on inside the battle to... Uh, pop the Juzo cards to make sure that you're killing him with the AoEs instead. But okay, we're just going to go ahead, pop those, and move that over, because I think he dies anyway. And dead? Cool. So yeah, that first phase isn't honestly too bad. It's been only single target. Second phase, once again, he'll have another tail alongside him. We're just going to go ahead and flex our Juzo muscles on him. I do want to pop that Iwao, but I think it's okay for now. I don't see a lot of Hinami used, honestly, but I think that she is really effective for this. Oh no, he didn't choose the main body as a target. That's a waste. Slam. And another slash. Honestly, really good damage, but we got to make sure we're ready to take this hit. Um, he can choose anyone for the single target, so it's blessed that he attacked my Iwao. He could have very easily just one-shot our Utas and we would have been doomed. So, I probably should have popped my taunt there, honestly, if I was smart. Um, I'm going to move the Uta card over, do that, and then destroy with the Kaneki here. The next turn I can also upgrade for free. Yeah, I'll just mark it to him as well. Let him know. We have a three-star, too, so it's going to end up giving us... No way you didn't kill! Okay, my provoke better kill. Oh, oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. I fucked up. <laughs> yeah, no, I should have attacked. My Kaneki not killing there is actually kind of astounding. Um, In that case, let's just make sure we kill. 
I'll waste that, because I know that next turn I'm going to be able to pop my ult again anyway. Oh, I didn't realize he didn't have a third phase either. Inside the Abyss version of Kaneki, he has three phases total, so he's a lot harder. Alright, you get a bunch of these green materials, which are used to be able to upgrade the RC cells at their highest tiers. And I still haven't gotten over the barrier to be able to get the items to understand modification as a whole. I'm gonna sneeze. Oh, sorry about that. But yeah, so in RC modification, they try to get you to use those purple items, but I still haven't gotten over the barrier where... Here it is. Not only do you need them to be able to do all of these, but you also need the red ones from the Eto Owl to be able to do all of these separate ones. So I'm still trying to work toward this. Tomorrow I'll be able to get my first one officially of the Heterocreotic Protomer so I can get one of these upgrades for Rize. So if we do cover the maintenance tomorrow and there is a new banner, we'll talk about that as of then. Um, but honestly, it's just kind of been... A lot of the same on this game as of recent, and I guess it's just grind the current event, do what you gotta do in your dailies, and log out for the day. And so I'm hoping to try and figure out how to do some more content on the game as well. Because it's not my favorite just to hop on and do like the same old raids. So try and have some fun with it in Crusty PvP, I think. PvP, I wanna try out some more unique teams. And to be able to do that, the answer is going to be to really look at my box right now, get them to level 100, and see if I can build some unique stuff. Uh, but we're going to try and experiment a little bit more, try and have some more fun with this game rather than just doing the hardcore guides about how to do this or that or the other. For now, thank you guys for watching. Take it easy. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.